Hey travelers, I'm Jobs. And I'm Moots. And we want to welcome you to Central Park. This, right now, is the only quiet part of Central Park. And that is because everybody is walking around the park with their phones out playing Pokemon Go. They might as well rename the park to the Safari Zone because we've seen at least a thousand people. And I don't think we've seen anybody that wasn't playing Pokemon Go. Yep. That could partially be because it's what time right now? It's, uh, it's about 2.45 in the morning. Uh, nobody should be out here, but we all are because we're excited about this game. But we are even more excited because the Silk Science team just finalized some awesome data. And we wanted to bring it to you, and we're not going to let it wait. Let's dive in. What? Combat in Pokemon Go is a totally different experience from the main series games. Niantic did bring several elements over, but they've also added some totally new mechanics to the mix. Battles in Pokemon Go can feel hectic, fast-paced, and even confusing if you aren't familiar with what's going on. So, we're going to break it down piece by piece with the help of some work from the Sylph Research Group. Before you even enter the arena, you should know that every species in Pokemon Go is unique. They each have their own attributes, different from other species, which make a difference in battle. Some are objectively stronger than others. The following attributes hide under the surface for each Pokemon. Base attack, base defense, and base stamina. Regardless of how low or high you power up your Pokemon, these base numbers are consistent for the whole species. They're a big factor in how much damage your Pokemon can dish out and how well they can take a hit relative to other species. Because we knew you were going to ask anyway, here's some of the Pokemon with the strongest base attack score. And here's some with the strongest base defense. We know you didn't catch all that, so we've put a link to the full tables in the description of this video, so you can play around with the list on your own. Pokemon also have individual stats in Pokemon Go, but that's a topic for another video. Those new to the Pokemon franchise should know that all Pokemon also have a type. Examples are water, fire, electric, and more. Types each have strengths and weaknesses in relation to other types. For example, electric is considered super effective against water type. And water is not very effective against electric. You want to make sure that you pick a Pokemon with a type advantage in your favor when you head into battle. Now that we understand that species have different base stats and types, it's important to understand an important new mechanic at play, stamina. Underneath the familiar hit points bar, you'll see an additional status bar. This blue bar fills up and empties based on what's called your Pokemon stamina. In battle, you begin with an empty stamina bar. As you inflict damage on your opponent, it fills up. When it's full, you can do a special move that is slower, but inflicts more damage. Special moves drain your stamina with use. Now, obviously, you can power up your Pokemon in Pokemon Go using Stardust and Candy to raise their CP and make them stronger, but there's a little more to successful gym battling than simply powering up a few times beforehand. Let's look at how you actually fight. There are three gestures you can use while battling. Tap, Long Press, and Swipe. Tapping fires off your Pokemon's Quick Attack. You can fire this as many times as you want, and you'll be refilling your stamina the whole time. Once your stamina bar is full, you can hold and press to fire your special move. Finally, you can swipe to either side to dodge an incoming attack. We already know that Pokemon have attributes under the surface, but it's important to learn that moves also have their own attributes. All moves have power, type, duration, and something called a damage window. You'll want to take move types into account when battling to take advantage of types in your strategy. Move power is directly correlated with how much damage that move will do. Keep an eye on how many stamina bars each move has. It's not always just one. Having multiple stamina bars lets you fire a special move multiple times when fully charged. That brings us to duration. Not all moves take the same amount of time. In a battle system like Pokemon Go, where things are a real-time melee, you want to inflict as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. So you're looking for a balance between power and duration. This can be referred to as damage per second or damage per minute. Those familiar with the Pokemon franchise might expect Struggle to be the move with the worst damage per minute ratio. but. That's not actually the case. The prize goes to Rap, which weighs in taking 4 seconds with a power rating of 20. We'll put a link to a comprehensive move chart with the damage per minute ratios in this video's description. Now, like we said earlier, things can get a bit hectic when you're actually in the melee, so let's slow things down and take a closer look at what really happens when an opponent attacks. We'll use Rapidash's Heat Wave for this example. Starting at an idle state, the first thing that happens when a special attack comes your way is that the move is announced. The animation will then begin a short while afterward. At some point in the animation, you'll receive a warning flash that damage is incoming. It's after this point that you'll want to dodge before damage lands. Now, we wanted to share a theory that we like about a move attribute called Damage Window. 
is the current working theory of the Sylph Research Group that this window in the move's life cycle is where damage is actually inflicted, and the rest is just animation. Dodging takes exactly 500 milliseconds. If a move has a damage window of 300 milliseconds, then it's possible to time your dodge right and avoid the entire damage window. In other words, avoid taking damage. Every quick attack's damage window is 200 milliseconds, so it's believed to be possible to avoid damage from every quick attack if you're skilled. If you don't cover that 200 milliseconds, you can still be damaged, even though it will say you dodged. You just need to know when to dodge during the attack. Bubble, for example, is a very slow quick attack, weighing it at 2.3 seconds. The damage window is the last 200 milliseconds, so it's believed that you just need to dodge at the end and you'll avoid the hit. In special attacks, the damage window is not always in the last 200 milliseconds. It occurs at differing times, and sometimes even lasts longer than the 500 millisecond dodge. In other words, you'll have to dodge multiple times to avoid damage. Only one move has no damage window. Blizzard. And to date, we've never been able to dodge it. Now remember that whole last part about damage windows was just a theory. We'll have more conclusive information on damage in the future, so stay tuned for an update. Now that we understand the mechanics of fighting, Pokemon attributes, and move autonomy, it's time to look at a few final things that more advanced players use in their battle strategy. The first is called Same Type Attack Bonus, or STAB. STAB is an attack bonus given when a Pokemon uses a move of the same type as the Pokemon. For example, a water Pokemon like Vaporeon using a water move like Hydro Pump. This increases the damage the move will do by 25%. And for that reason, competitive players try and make sure that their Pokemon moves match the Pokemon's type. Another behind the scenes battle mechanic is called the critical hit chance. This value is the odds that a move will actually do additional damage, a critical hit, when used. At present, we're not confident what this value is in Go, but we know that it is present. We think a reasonable bet would be a 25% boost in power, but more testing is needed. Not all moves have the same critical hit ratio. Stone Edge, for example, has a 50% chance of landing a critical hit every time, while most moves are 5%, and some are even 0% likely to hit critical hit. So, how do you dominate in gym battles? You can see it takes a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of skill. These mechanics are subject to change, as Niantic is constantly tweaking and tuning the game. But, as long as you're looking to use types to your advantage, use moves with a good damage per minute ratio, shoot for that stab bonus, and get good at dodging, and you should be sailing to the top of the gym in no time. You just got park told the closed, park is closed. Oh, the park is, is closed. closed. The park, the park is closed. So, um... NYPD just came by and told us the park's closed. Apparently Central Park closes at 3 o'clock in the morning. Which is really good to know. Um, we yeah. do want to make sure before we run out to give a huge shout out to the Sylph Research Group for running this analysis. It's awesome to understand what's happening underneath the surface in Pokemon Go. Yeah. So make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. We're going to be bringing you a ton more analysis just like this. And we'll see you on the road.